Hello, 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 everybody. I'm peeking my head on the side here. Okay, so every Friday, we have Instagram Live at 1230. And we talk about a different topic every time. So you can check the last several topics that we've done. Instagram is saying, hang on, we're telling more followers to join your video. But because I, I send this up onto the YouTube channel as well, I'm just gonna keep talking. Glad you're all here. Today's topic is about, oh boy, the feet. So we're gonna talk about the health of the feet, how to keep them healthy and how to work on them to help them if they're having issues, the feet, the calf muscles, etc. right? It's all connected. Hi, John. Hi, Tommy. All right, so hopefully you can see the setup here. At the end, I'm gonna go over some exercises to do to help the feet. Oh, little dog behind me here. Uh, but first, I just wanna go over the basics, okay? So I have my little notepad here. I hope you have yours anatomy of the feet. And look what I did. I detached Herman's leg so that you can see what's going on with the feet. Now, Tommy, I remember when you broke your, I don't even want to talk about this, when you were at camp and you broke your, uh, your foot. So you probably know a lot about the feet already. Um, but we're going to go over some basics. And I'm really glad that you're here for this because in my opinion, I just want to point out for one second, when you detach the lower part of a leg, you can just kind of rest it on your shoulder. It's really nice. Go for a walk around town with it on your shoulder. Not too creepy, right? Okay. In my opinion, getting back to what I'm trying to say here, the feet, the health of the feet is the gateway to the health of your body. The gateway. Now I do say that a lot. Um, is it a little bit all encompassing? All you know? Does it involve? Does it bring everything into it? Sure, but you know what? I'm just gonna say it anyway because I think it's so true. So if your feet are healthy, how you stand, how you walk, how you sit, all these things um, are gonna be affected by your feet. Okay. Now, just for Herman's purposes, this is not real. The bone is made of PVC on this guy, all right? So it's, it's fake, all right? I'm not some like weirdo Dexter person, okay? All right, so there's 26 bones in your foot. How cool is that? 26 bones in the foot, there's 30 joints. I'm just gonna keep moving this around like really strange. 30 joints, more than 100, yes, you heard me correctly, muscles, holy Moses, tendons, so there's more than, I should have finished that sentence, there's more than 100 muscles, tendons, and ligaments. <laughs> All of those put together is 100, okay? It's so great to see you, Tommy. Okay. Um, there's three sections of the foot. Now this reminds me of my husband's foot and I totally forgot to take a picture of it for you guys. But if you check on the story, on the Instagram story of this page, you'll see a couple of other pictures of feet that are interesting. Um, the, the first section of your foot is your toes. Okay, so Herman, this is why it reminds me of my husband's foot because he's got finger toes and this reminds me of, of my husband. So this is Herman, this is the first section. My hand is covering the first section of the foot here. If I take my hand away, you'll see, whoop, it's the toes. Woo. Now in the toes, right? So the toes um, are the phalanges, which always reminds me of Phoebe from Friends because she talks about the phalange on the airplane. Anyway, you gotta watch that episode if you haven't seen it. Definitely worth it. Um, these are your phalanges, so the toes, right? And you can see that there's joints in there. See, 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 there's joints. 
So these long things are your phalanges. And then we have the second section of the foot, which are the metatarsals. Okay, so my hands are cover my hand is covering the toes now to expose the metatarsals to you for you. And then I'm going to cover that up. And this right here, the arch of the foot there, right here, okay, that is your midfoot. So this is the forefoot, the phalanges and the metatarsals. These are the forefoot. Then you have the arch of the foot, and that's your midfoot. This has so many bones in the midfoot. One, two, three, four, five bones in the midfoot. Wowza. And then the hind foot is made up of your heel, which is the largest bone in the foot. Okay? And then the ankle. There's your ankle. Hello. Right? And then when you do this, you can move your foot and say hello. Okay? It's very good. So like I said, heel is the largest bone in the foot. Okay, so here's the tibia, the large bone in your, in your shin, right? That's your tibia. And your outer, little, the little guy on the outside here is your fibula. So we got the tibia and we got the fibula. Now the fibula attaches to the outside of your knee here, which is that like little knot, that little knob that you can feel on the outside of your knee. That's your, the fibula. And then it attaches down to your ankle. So it's again, it's that knot that sticks out on the side of the ankle. So it's not actually your ankle. Your ankle bone is separate from the fibula. Interesting, right? Okay. So, Here's what I'm gonna say about the feet. How can we help them stay healthy? I would love to hear your thoughts on this too, by the way. So let me know what you do to keep your feet healthy, all right? Give them space. This is what I'm, this is what I'm talking about. Give your feet some space, you know what I'm saying? Like we squish them into these shoes, we squish them. We're not like the geisha, right? But when you squish your foot into a shoe, and like I said, go back to the story that I posted before, and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's a picture of a foot that's been squished into a shoe that's the shape like this, right? So the foot formed in that position. And the toes are all squished, right? And then there's a picture of a foot that's never been in a shoe. So you can see it's like spread really wide and really great, healthy. So that's what I'm saying. Give your foot some space, you know, give it some space. It's like a happy marriage. You know what I mean? You want to have a happy marriage with your foot. Give it some space, right? Um, so don't squish them into a shoe. So get a shoe, get the correct shoe. And there's you know, you can do your research on this. There's a lot of different options, obviously, on shoes. All right. Um, I used to wear these, um, the Vibram type shoe, right? It makes you feel like you're, you're barefoot. Some people need more support than that, right? So do your research. Get the right shoe for your body. Give yourself the support you need, but give the foot space to spread and be, give you a stable base. To, to land your body on, to hold you. So correct shoes. Um, what the heck is that note that I wrote? Get new shoes, okay? So the body is habitual. The way that it moves, the way that it walks, the way it sits, runs, etc., etc. The way that the body um, works with the feet is also habitual, right? So we weight bear on our feet what we really want to do is weight bear on the, on the pelvis more so that the feet don't bear the brunt of the full weight of the body, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, so you want to, what happens is you form a habit, 
we form habits, right? So if you have the same pair of shoes for five years, it's really not doing anything for you anymore because that shoe has molded to your habits, really, okay? So now it's supporting you in your habitual way, which is not necessarily helping your critical issues that you might be having in your feet and therefore in your body. So a new pair of shoes, I would recommend, all right, we're gonna get to that in a second. Um, yes, this is my recommendation. Now I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm not a doctor but I've worked with people for a long time, okay? And I like to read and I like to study. So this is my recommendation for getting new shoes for you. If you are hard on your feet, right? If you do a lot of running or exercise where you're on your feet doing that kind of stuff, walking, hiking, that kind of thing. And by the way, stay to the end of the video if you wanna see some exercises to help your feet. Um, and you can also catch the replay and on YouTube as well. Every three to six months, if you're really hard on your feet, that's what I would recommend to get a pair, the pair of shoes that you're using all the time that you're harder on your feet with. So like I said, if you're running, you know, maybe you're training, uh, maybe you like to go hiking or whatever it is, and you know, it's every day that you're doing that. Um, every three to six months is gonna give you the best support, really. Um, if you're, you know, a light to moderate type of person with, with that kind of exercising, then every six months would be ideal. Um, and then annually, really, for any other shoes that you're not using all the time, but, you know, like I have a pair, if I think of my own stuff, my own shoes, I need to like step it up here. You know, I need to take my own advice. This is embarrassing. Um, but you know, there's some shoes you might just wear in the winter or whatever. So, you know, you can figure it out, figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe then one year would equal two winters, something like that. Okay. Those are my recommendations for how to care for your feet. Now, of course, are there going to be other ways to care for your feet? Yes. Okay. Massaging. Let me just say something, Lily and I gave ourselves, well, I think she really gave me more of a foot massage the other night because it was a Mother's Day thing. And it's so worth it, you know, getting a good foot massage, delicious, absolutely delicious. Um, and soaking your feet, you know, in a bath or um, in, in a foot bath, right? These are all really beneficial to help your feet. It's gonna help relax all those muscles, those hun that 100 muscles, tendons, and ligaments, and those are attached to the bones. So it's gonna help relax the entire structure, the anatomical structure of the whole foot if you help to relax them. All right, so this is what we're gonna go over. Different ways to help stretch and strengthen your feet. And at the end of this, I have a really special tip to give you. So hang around. We're gonna go over a few stretches. And those of you who have come to my yoga classes, you know a lot of this already. Um, I have a blanket. I also have a block with me. So I'm gonna show you these things with these two things. First thing that we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna back up a little bit here. Let me turn this way because the little, oh, the little dog just moved. Okay. So I'm on my knees here. My toes are curled under. I don't know if you can see this. I think you can. All I can see is notifications. Um, the toes are curled under. Okay. My hands are out in front of me so I can have my block out here to just sort of like lean onto. Toes are curled under. My body weight is very gently leaning back towards my heels. This can be very intense if you've never done it before. So give yourself some time to get into this, okay? And eventually, eventually, you might lift up a little bit higher. Maybe your block goes taller, okay? Or completely 
release your hands from the block. If you're in this and it's super intense, but you want to stay here in an upright position, take your folded up blanket or your towel, put that on top of your heels and sit onto that and see if that helps. If that's not good enough, if that's feeling like too intense, you can use your block or two blocks and you can stack them, right? I'm just gonna use one here and sit on the blocks between your feet. So that's gonna ease your body, your full body weight off of the heels, but still give your feet a little bit of a stretch. Feels good. And maybe five to 10 breaths to start with, sitting like this and just seeing how it feels. Nice deep breathing. Little by little over time, maybe it gets easier and easier, especially if you practice it, right? Not like once a month every day, every other day. And we're gonna come up, untuck the toes, okay? This is stretch number two. And same thing, you can use a block to sit on. You can put a blanket underneath your, on, on top of your heels, under your buttocks. Sitting back and down onto the heels with the, to with the tops of the feet down. Sometimes people have the front of the ankle here is very tight. So in that case, you can use a blanket, roll it up, just one little roll, and put your ankles over the top of that. And for some people, this is heaven. This is like all you need, you know what I mean? Are you with me? So sitting like this, again, five to 10 breaths maybe at a time. Just see how it feels. Work, work through it, work it out. I would do these two stretches every single day. Every single day until you start to feel a little bit more at ease in the feet. All right, so the next stretch we have to sit down for, and I'm going to All right, so when you're sitting in those postures, um, especially with the toes curled under, you're also helping to stretch your calf muscles, right? So um, on Sunday, by the way, there's a, a yoga video that I did. It's coming out on the Kari Yoga channel, Kari Yoga, Be Truly You. Go to the website, kariyoga.com. Um, and it's for the feet and the calf muscles. So definitely go and check that out. It's like 10 minutes long. So I have to take my socks off. I don't want to do this. It's chilly. So bring your one leg straight out in front of you. I'm only showing you one foot because I'm not taking my sock off for both feet, okay? I'm just not doing it. All right, all right. All right, so you're gonna cross the foot over. So you're just hanging out, having a great time. And it's just above the ankle. Now, if this is very tight for you, you can use the block underneath your thigh here, give you some support, right? Sometimes we have the knee all the way up here. So however you wanna support that, that knee, keep it less stressful on the hip. Then take your fingers and squeeze them. I squeeze my fingers sideways in between your toes. Oh, oh, oh. It's like so uncomfortable. And then rock your toes, hello. Rock your toes gently forward and back. So my fingers are squeezed between my toes here. It is delicious, let me just tell you. And I'm just gonna rock forward and back. And I might do this every single day, especially if my toes are really stuck together. I wanna make sure that they're giving, I'm giving my feet as much space, just like we said at the beginning, as possible, which means I want my toes to really be spread wide, okay? So this is my this is my saying for the day with the toes. You have toes, you might as well use them. You know what I mean? I mean, what else are they gonna do? They're just sitting there. All right, so with your fingers between your toes, <laughs> 
circle your ankle in one direction because your ankle is a part of your foot and we want the ankle to be healthy and happy as well. We do have some strengthening exercises that we're going to do in a minute. So hang out, circle the opposite way. And when I stand up, I really hope my head doesn't get cut off. <laughs> That'd be so creepy. Just circle around. This is just some very simple little things that you can do to help your feet stay healthy. If you can get your fingers all the way through the toes, that's even, whoa, amazing. I'm gonna give you an award for that. Okay, so both feet, you can do that with both feet. I'll put my sock back on. All right, and now we're gonna work on strengthening stuff, exercises for, to make your feet happier, because that's what we want. We want the feet to be happier. You know what? I'm gonna take my sock back off because I have to show you this awesome exercise. I'm gonna move this back just a little bit you can see. Bum, 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 bum. Whoop. Hello. See up my nose there. All right, I gotta take my sock back off of this. All right, so here is a strengthening exercise for your foot. You're gonna take your toes and you're gonna grab a cloth from the floor. And probably if you do this, you already feel the strengthening underneath the foot and under the toes, okay? Lift it up, extend it forward, bend and lower down. Good. Squeeze the toes on that cloth. You can relax it. We'll do it again. So grab it, bend the knee, lift it up, extend it, bend it and lower it down. Isn't that fun? Let's do that again. Squeezing, lifting, extending, bending, and lowering down. Amazing, good. So maybe do those, try and do that 12 times, eight to 12 times, right? Repetitions, and then do the other leg. Help to strengthen your feet and your calves not just stretch, okay? We wanna to remember to stretch and strengthen. Okay, so here's another way. Calf muscles connected to feet. So you're gonna lift your heels up as high as you can, feel the strengthening of the calf muscles, and then lower the heels down. Lift the hips up as high as you can, and then lower the heels down. So again, you can do this for a repetition of maybe 12, and then take a break and do another rep of 12. So we're trying to, for those of you coming in a little bit late here, we're trying to learn about the health of the feet and how to strengthen and stretch the feet and why. Why do we want to do that? Why, would, why do we want to take better care of the feet? Because the feet are the base of the body, right? So we want the base of the body to be healthy and strong, the foundation, so that we can have a healthier house that has been built upon it. So we lift up and we lower down. Good. Another strengthening is whenever you're standing, whenever you're standing up, practice pushing your big toe down, right? Even if you're sitting in a chair, okay? This is something that you can practice. When you push your big toe down, the arch of the foot starts to strengthen. So you can probably feel that. So do one foot, relax, and then do the other foot. Just the big toe. It's connected to the arch of the foot and it's helping to strengthen it. Are you breathing? Good, let's do the other foot again. Big toe pushes down, feel the strengthening the arch. Relax. I have a secret tip to share with you at the end of this video, which is very, it's the very next thing that we're gonna do. Push the other big toe down, feel the strengthening, and relax. Good. So here's my secret tip for you. This pose that we talked about just a few minutes ago, where you're sitting on your, on your feet, on your heels. If you have tight calf muscles, okay, 
which is the lower part of the leg here, the back of the lower part of the leg. When you sit on your feet like this, if the front of your ankle especially is tight, that means, so here's the front of your foot, okay? If this area at the front of the foot is very, very tight for you, so that when you sit like we're sitting, this doesn't even really flatten out very much, right, if it's like this, you might have very tight calf muscles. So when you do this posture, when you sit on your heels, like we're doing right now, your calf muscles in this area, they have a, a chance, an opportunity to relax, right? So it's like a slacking of those muscles. They're not overworking anymore. They're not in this position where the heel is pulling on those muscles anymore. So when you release that pressure, the pulling on the calf muscle, it's gonna help them relax. And a lot of the times when people have tight calf muscles, they don't realize that. They don't realize that what they actually need is not so, I mean, they need to stretch, yes, and they need to strengthen, yes, but they also really need to relax that muscle, put less stress on it. So that's my special tip for you. I hope it helped. If anybody has any questions or comments, or if there's a topic specifically that you'd like to talk about the next time, because I just do these topics from week to week, so I'm just doing things that I find really interesting, which is pretty much anything about the body and yoga and life. And if you'd like to come on here with me and talk about something else, please let me know. You could put some makeup on, do your hair, and we can have a nice conversation about life, wellness, whatever feels good for you. Glad you're here. You can catch this replay whenever you want on this channel and also on Kara Yoga on YouTube. I hope to see you again next Friday, and I'll talk to you very soon. Namaste.